There are s several objections to, to the whole idea of vaccine passports. Some of them are ideological, some are scientific. For instance, no vaccination is 100% is effective, which means that even if uh, a traveler is protected themselves, there's, there's still a risk that they could then go and transmit the virus if they travel to another country. Uh, also, there's a, there's a variety of efficacies against uh, COVID-19 variants as well. On, on the ideological side, the, the World Health Organization is among institutions that actually oppose vaccine passports because they, in essence, they divide a, a population and, and they, they promote inequality. So you have some people who, who can have the vaccine, some who can't. Spring break and the nation's airlines say leisure travel has come roaring back. Passenger volume pushing one and a half million each day this week, a million more than a year ago. It's nice that at United Airlines, we can see that light at the end of the tunnel. With so many passengers, Delta today said it will stop blocking middle seats on May 1st. But will Americans need so-called vaccine passports, proof of vaccinations to get into concerts, sporting events, or even travel? The White House says that's up to the private sector. The government here is not viewing its role as the place to create a passport, uh, nor a place to hold the data uh, of, of citizens. The governor of tourist hotspot Florida says he will forbid local governments or businesses from requiring vaccination proof. You don't want to create separate classes of citizens based on whether somebody received vaccine. With no national standard, states, companies, and health care providers are now coming up with their own options. New York State releasing Excelsior Pass for people to upload digital vaccine information and COVID test results. While overseas, many European countries, Japan, Israel, and global airlines are pushing their own vaccine passports, hoping to jumpstart tourism. In the U.S., there is no vaccination database. This is what you get when you receive your vaccine. The question is whether this is enough for a potential vaccine passport. We're getting a glimpse at how our post-pandemic world could operate. New York rolling out a new app some people call a COVID passport, a one-stop shop that stores your tests and vaccine status and notifies businesses and venues. Madison Square Garden will be one of the first places to use it. News 4's Adam Harding is there live now. And Adam, how does it work? The city and state now promoting this new app that they hope will serve as a, essentially a COVID passport. Like when you go to the airport, you've got all of your documents in one place. Now the state is hoping its new Excelsior app can help speed things up even more. Would I have to join an app situation? You would have to download yeah, see, it. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. The first of its kind app will serve as almost a COVID passport for anyone to use at major sports and entertainment venues. It will authenticate someone's vaccination or show proof of a recent negative COVID test.